fishy friends, welcome on another fishy Friday here from Nusfjord. And Nusfjord is a very tiny little village, look behind me, uh, in the northern part of Norway, at the Lofoten. This is my kitchen today, and the Lofoten is, is an amazing place where the most delicious cod ends up after migrations from the North Pole. Um, we go, and it's called Skrai. We're going to pan fry Skrai with some sauerkraut and boiled potatoes. So this dish is about three parts. Of course, we have the skrai, the cod. It takes just a few minutes to get it ready. Then we have the sauerkraut, it takes a bit longer. And then we have the potatoes. We start off with the potatoes. First, peel them. So now I cut the potatoes in smaller parts. So I have them in some salted water and boil them until cooked. Okay, so I will test if the potatoes are ready. They are. Look at this, great. So, I was preparing this outdoor kitchen so uh, to have my potatoes boiling right here, to make the sauerkraut right here. But this one, my friend, is not working. So, I do everything on this one stove. So, I have this pan aside, but this pan doesn't fit here. I bring my potatoes, including the hot water, into the small pan right here, and I keep it warm here aside and this will be my sauerkraut pan right now okay so i have my sauerkraut i've used the package um, you can buy it everywhere and it's it's really good quality and it will be ready more quickly um, it takes 15 minutes but i add extra flavor to it start with the white wine and actually i steam it in the white wine and i add a bit of black peppercorns to have it a bit crushed so I cover my sauerkraut with a lid and I keep it there. So the, the flavor of the wine and the peppercorns get well infused with the sauerkraut. Okay, 10, 15 minutes. I start prepping the skrai. And actually skrai, these beautiful fillets coming from this beautiful cod who is traveling, who is having this journey from the North Pole to the Lofoten in Northern Norway. And um, in January, February, March, April, they catch this fish in a very sustainable way. It's certified by the Marine Stewardship Council, the blue eco label, which guarantees you that your fish is coming from a sustainable source. And the taste and the texture of this cod, it's really special. You really should give it a try. It's not that expensive. If it's in season, if you have the opportunity, really give it a try. I'll show you how to prep the cod fillet pan fried. But we're going to make a sauce with it too. We're going to make a mustard sauce. And for the mustard sauce, I need to chop a shallot. And be careful. I've chopped my finger this morning. My hands were so cold, just so you lose control. It's, uh, it's part of outdoor cooking. I chop these fine. The only thing I do right now is seasoning the pieces of cod fillet. Okay, so two fillets. Actually, this recipe all what you see right here is based on two persons. Okay, have a taste on the sauerkraut. Oh, wow. Perfect, really, really good. So I keep this aside too. Try to keep it warm. And actually it's now minus five degrees, so. But I cover this too. Potatoes, sauerkraut. And now this beautiful pan is the two where I'm going to make this delicious piece of cod. I add a bit of vegetable oil. Okay, so first fill it in the pan. I need to move around because I only can work from this side for the next stage because it takes a while to pan fry it. So I have it now pan fried on one side like three minutes. I give it another minute and I turn it around. But cod is really um, uh, fragile, so we need be really careful and use a spatula when you turn it around. So the next step is I'm going to add butter. It's actually the base for the sauce, but also it gives extra flavor to the fish. And I make sure that the fish is getting creamy, it won't dry out, dry out. so the butter really increases the taste of the natural taste of the fish. Wow, so the fish is perfectly cooked right now. So what I'll do, take my spatula, so save the fish right here. 
I cover the fish, keep it warm, put my butter here, and I add the shallot with the butter. A drizzle of white wine. I like the sound. Perfect. Brings a bit of extra acidity to it. And now I add three tablespoons, four tablespoons of chicken stock. Okay, it's a mustard sauce, so we need mustard. I use like half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And the thing what the mustard will do too is bind the sauce. Okay, and we want to have the sauce creamy. So we add like two tablespoons of double cream. So these are reduced to a third, maybe a quarter, to have the sauce a bit more thick. And that's the moment I will add salt, because if I add the salt right now, you cannot control the balance, the salty balance. Okay, sauce is almost ready. We're going to plate up. I had the potatoes, and now I crush them with a fork. Really roughly, a bit like this. There we go, bring it to the middle. So, a bit of sauerkraut. So now, it's the first stage of adding the sauce. Add this on top of the sauerkraut. And now on top, it's the hero, the skry. So look at this, it's maybe not the most colorful dish existing, but this is comfort food. This is a great dish for a winter day like this. If you want to eat seafood on a cold day, this is really warming you up. So, a bit of sauerkraut, a bit of potato, and a bit of the lovely skry and mustard sauce. Mm. It's the potato with the sauerkraut, which is a, of course a famous combination. The lovely textures, a bit of the acidity. And then we have this beautiful skry. That's why we are here. And with the skry, we have a bit of a kick of the mustard. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.